Hey, Amanda. Hi there. I love that you guys are from all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> and most of us are friends, so... Oh, oh, really? That's oh, so that's nice. nice. <laughs> We're friends, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I watched this show with my seven-year-old nephew, and he wanted me to tell you that he thought it is Meow Zing. Is that yeah. right? Meowzing, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Meowzing, yes. Oh, meowzing. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> what you, it was actually surprising because that he liked it with a, a show like Gabby's Dollhouse about dollhouses. Were you all worried about it appealing to boys as well? I don't think so. You know, we 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 definitely when we started creating it, we're thinking something girl focused, but. With everything that we do, we want to make sure that there's something for everybody. And I think, you know, we have Pandy, such a strong male character, and DJ Catnip and Cat Rat. You know, we have really strong male characters. And um, we think it has really can appeal to both boys and girls. We try to make be aware of that when we're writing every episode to put something in there for everybody. And I think things that are in there, like, Crafting and cooking are things that are, are just have such broad appeal for everybody. And cats. And cats. <laughs> well, yeah, he wants to be a baker, he said. So like, ah, he, well, Cakey's awesome. Cake, a boy too. Yeah, so Cake we're modeling boy. all that. So his favorite though is the cat rat. That's ah, the yeah. favorite. So. <laughs> uh, my question is, what was your main inspiration for creating this show? I think I think it was, I think it was, it was, did we originally do it as a, I think we were, we were hoping to come up with something that felt new and different. Um, there's so much out there for preschoolers right now. Um, and we were just sort of looking at the landscape and, you know, what, what, what is that something out there that is a need that kids have? a hole in the landscape of preschool television. And so we focused on a girl focused show, but that had something for everybody. Um, and then we really just dug into what we loved as kids, which was dollhouses and a love of miniatures and cats. Um, and so I think, you know, just then we started brainstorming and Tracy and I, we lit, we're neighbors, we're mm -hmm. with each other all the time. Even in COVID, we've been in our own pod <laughs> working together. Um, so we just spent a lot of time brainstorming and making mistakes and throwing <laughs> things at the wall. And, uh, and then we started working with DreamWorks and developing Gabby's. And uh, we're really proud of what the show, how the show has uh, evolved through its development process. My question is about the music. So yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, the whole day when I was watching this, I was up there singing, you know, put it in and twist it. <laughs> like that was stuck yeah. in my head all day long. <laughs> so where do y'all come up with these songs? And, and when do you know to put them in? And I just, <laughs> <laughs> we have, we work with an amazing composer named P.T. Walkley, who, um, we've both worked with in the past and he's just super talented and it's really a collaborative process. Like we'll, we'll sit down with PT and say, we're thinking of a song here and we want it to be about, um, you know, space and this is what's happening in the scene. And so it's a really collaborative process, but he is such a talented yeah, composer. He's a, he's a jingle maker for he sure. Is. The earworms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Really> catchy. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Well, well thank you. you. I can hear it. <laughs>